Path of Titans has a wide range of upcoming dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures that are coming to the game officially in the future. From herbivores to carnivores to flyers and aquatics, today I'm talking to you about all the upcoming dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures that you can look forward to for Path of Titans. Timestamps for each section are on the screen now and if you are new, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, let's dive right into the video. So, there are two upcoming herbivores to start off with that are coming officially to Path of Titans. Now, bear in mind, these are the official developer-made dinosaurs that everyone has access to and are not mods. So, of course, let's get into the two herbivores, and that is, firstly, a very unique stegosaurine, which is Miragea. This dinosaur is characterized as a stegosaur with a whole load of spikes along its neck and, well, its neck as well is very long. In fact, the spikes are actually not on its neck. I've worded that terribly. The spikes run from like halfway from its back to its tail and then on the other side from its neck to that other half, its plates. And of course, this dinosaur could really be characterized as a bigger version of Kentrosaurus. However, I would assume it will be in between Kentrosaurus and Stegosaurus because it may be long and tall for a Stegosaur being 6.5 meters long, but it's relatively light for a Stegosaur being 2 metric tons. Miragea will be an interesting dinosaur in the game and it adds to the extensive roster of herbivores and of course Stegosaurs. And another herbivore herbivore that's adding to the list is Pachycephalosaurus. This is the bonker, the bone-breaking, head-butting, angry, dome-shaped head creature Pachycephalosaurus. This is a dinosaur that will be a mobile bone-breaking tank essentially and it's something that if you already play Beast of Bermuda and the Isle, this is something you already know quite well about. I can see a lot of people are excited for Pachycephalosaurus because well it's, it's going to be a fun one and it's a new bone-breaking system. That being said, which one are you most excited for? Pachycephalosaurus on Miragea. Now I can see why people are more excited for Pachycephalosaurus because it's a whole new dinosaur compared to Miragea being a stegosaurine. Anyways, let me know. There are three carnivores left to come and when I made this video in the past there was actually two out of these that are left because one of them was technically in the flyer stretch goal category and we're going to start off with that one. So that's Micro Raptor. Yep, the tiny little Micro Raptor is coming to Path of Titans in the future and it's one that will probably be the most unique dinosaur in the game because it will be probably a glider. Now the reason why I'm going to say that and assume that is because if it's not it's going to be very boring and I feel like this little guy will be able to climb trees as well, gliding from tree to tree, only going down to the bottom of the uh, map or the forest floor when it needs food or to take some long adventures. Of course, Micro Raptor is going to be the smallest in the game on the land, and so that means it needs to be able to survive and run away from anything and everything. Even Kamto will kill it. This one is going to be interesting. Let's talk about another raptor like dinosaur, and that's Achillobator. This is a huge dromaeosaurid from the Bayan Shira formation in Asia. Coming in at 5 meters long uh, and roughly 1.6 meters tall, this is going to be something that means business to all. In fact, this is a murderer of a dinosaur. This is the dinosaur that I think will be coming with the long-awaited pounce mechanic because what else would make this a unique drop when you bring a whole new mechanic with it that everyone's been waiting for for a few years. I feel like this is going to be something that will cause damage and be a threat to anybody and that's why I'm very excited for a killer bait or I love big raptors. In fact, my profile picture I believe is based off of a killer bait or so yeah, that is that. So, Pycnonmosaurus is next or Pycno as many people will know and where do I start with this one? Well, this is a large albellosaurid, and it's the only albellosaurid to come to the game. Of course, yes, we have the Carnotaurus mod. Pycno is like the long-lost brother of 
Carno, but it's the official dinosaur of Path of Titans, whereas Carno isn't. That being said, I think this will sit in the same category as Allosaurus and Daspletosaurus being a high mid-tier, but not competitive to obviously the Apexes, whether that's herbivores or carnivores, but will be a very good pack animal. I feel like this will be a faster dinosaur that will be able to deal quite a bit of damage. In fact, I feel like it's going to be a mobile thing that's going to be able to run around in circles, and I do wonder how it will compare against a modded Carnotaurus. Anyways, this is a dinosaur that was thought to be 7 meters long, but recent estimates have put it to 8.9 to 9 meters long as well. I'm very excited for this dinosaur. I think Pycno will be the next dinosaur in the game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about these as well. Which carnivore are you most excited for? Flyers. Wow, we're getting to the near end of this video already. Flyers are pterosaurs. They're not dinosaurs, so please don't kill me. I had to put them in this video because of obviously they're creatures that come into the game. That being said, what is coming? Well, we're going to start off with my favourite one, which is Thalassodromius. Coming from Brazil, Thalassodromius is a genus of Tapajarid pterosaur, sporting a huge crest, but most importantly, it's also quite a big pterosaur at that. This will probably be the more common critter in the skies, a mid-sized flyer that will be able to harass the bigger pterosaurs that will be in the game, aka Hatsigopteryx. Because, well, look at it. It's 1.8 meters tall when stood upright, which is huge. Falasso is one of the pterosaurs that I'm quite excited for in Path of Titans. In fact, it's the one I'm most excited for. But if we want to talk about something big, we've got Hatsigopteryx, which is next. A flying giraffe. Now picture this. You're a baby dinosaur walking through Pandora and suddenly a big pterosaur lands next to you. That's as big as a giraffe. You have no time to react because it's already eaten you. But yeah, that's pretty much how that story goes. And the main culprit of that is Hatsigopteryx. This comes from Romania from the Hayteg Island Formation. And it is a massive pterosaur related to Quetzalcoatlus. Which a lot of you, the Isle fans, will be quite excited for coming to the Isle. Hatsi is Path of Titans' version of that. And well, it will make anything its dinner if it could. And finally, we've got the smallest pterosaur, Rampharynchus. This thing is going to be a little guy, but I think it's not going to be too small when compared to Microraptor, mainly because it's about the same size. But I feel like this guy will be probably the weakest flyer, more of a scavenger or hunting insects or fishing near the lakes and rivers of Pandora or Gondwar. I don't think it's one that will be doing long flights because, well, look how small it is. Rampharynchus, I'm quite excited for. Little guy, little flyer. It's going to be quite quite cute. I wonder what the babies are going to be like. Let me know all your thoughts here. Which out of these flies are you most excited for? And I do apologise for the dog in the background. He doesn't know how to shut up. And finally, we have the aquatics now. There are four aquatics that will be making up the realms of the Path of Titans' waterways, the big oceans in Gondwar ma mainly, because, well, I don't think these will be going into Pandora, mainly because they're all very big. That being said, the first one that will be coming to the game is Tylosaurus. Now, of course, I say the first one. It's the first one in this list. It probably won't be the first one in the game out of these. I think they will probably all come together. That being said... Tylosaurus is the apex of the high seas. This thing is huge with a size range of just over 10 meters long and a vast amount of subspecies that'll probably make it to the game. For example, Bernardi, Proriger, and even Pembenensis. And there's many more, which one of them I can't even name, but it's named after a province in Canada, and you can probably know what I mean. Tylosaurus is the top dog of the sea, but it's not the biggest. However, it will be something that will be able to take on everything and anything because, well, this thing will be the bully of the oceans. Oh, I could get bullied by the smaller guys, but I feel like on its own, this thing is a force to be reckoned with. However, speaking of a force to be reckoned with, we have Ledicfees, which is technically the biggest creature in the game and probably the heaviest creature in the game. This is a big, bony fish hailing from the Jurassic period. Now, you may be wondering, what is it gonna be? Well, it's a filter feeder. The, ocean, the, the whale of Gondwar oceans, the big passive giant, like the Argentinosaurus of the ocean, essentially. I mean, it probably won't be able to defend itself that well, but yeah, it's a big filter feeder 
and I wonder how it's going to play. Probably not the funnest, but I am curious. Next up, we have a creature that I'll probably be playing as a lot, and that really is if it's able to jump out the water. Your Hinosaurus, the massive Ichthyosaur. Yeah, this is quite a big Ichthyosaur compared to other Ichthyosaurs. This should be quite a mobile and agile creature akin to the dolphins nowadays with a similar build compared to the Ichthyosaurs. But yeah, this thing looks cool. I'm quite excited for your Hinosaurus. I can't wait to see how the devs do with the aquatics in this game. And yeah, the large Ichthyosaur, definitely something that I hope is able to breach out of the water and just go sky high. But yeah, a very interesting one. And finally, the last creature creature in this video, Kaiwekia. This is a critter or aquatic plesiosaur from New Zealand and yeah it's about similar to size in your Hinosaurus compared to your Hinosaurus but it has a relatively short neck compared to other plesiosaurs like a Lasmosaurus. But yeah regardless this will be the noodle of the sea and it's going to be quite an exciting one. I think this could be a fan favourite. A lot of people like the plesiosaurs. You know I love them. A lot of people like them. But yeah let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. And there we have it. Every upcoming creature coming to Path of Titans. Well, actually, no. That's not every single one. Because there is a mystery dinosaur as well, which I don't know if it's a dinosaur, or flyer, or aquatic. Let me know your thoughts about that one in the comments down below. We literally don't know anything. We know that a backer backed for that dinosaur. But that's all we know. Because they don't want it revealed until it is out. We don't know. Maybe it's already out. Maybe it was already something that's currently in the game. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I want to know what your theories are on that mystery creature. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But yeah, that's everything in Path of Titans that we know of so far. Obviously, there's critters as well, but that can be a different video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.